Yeah, something about the Ace of Roll just uh, creeps me out. <laughs> What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to talk about some of the new cards that are coming in the upcoming Japanese set, Stream League. So the Pokemon company is trying to take on or retake on something they tried. The last time they tried it was in Evolutions, and I feel like they had the right idea, but they were not able to execute it very well, or at least the outcome, in my opinion, wasn't great. The reception wasn't great, and that is the secret rares. So, or what I'll call the not so secret, and what I didn't really want to put in here is not so appreciate, not so liked secret rares. And I feel like they did a lot of things right. I love like the idea of the Imakuni art, the different Pikachu, flying Pikachu, surfing Pikachu, the executor, how they had like a Japanese uh, characters as well. A lot of stuff was right, but you know, I feel like the the fan base, the collectors just didn't respond very well. Like the prices for these, it went like nowhere. Um, and I felt like they also weren't that rare. Um, so I feel like it didn't make the splash they wanted, but they're taking another shot at it and I think they figured out what's wrong. It's like, oh, you know what? In this age of GX, of full art, of hyper rare, we need to make them full art cards, not, you know, unique art and with uh, different names and stuff like that. So that's what they're trying to do. We're going to talk about the cards that they did it with in Dream League. Uh, so this is all I got, all this information from PokeBeach.com. Big shout out to Water Pokemon Master for always providing us the news. And so they are coming out with the CHR rarities, which at first I thought was common hyper rare or something like that, but I believe they said, might speculate it probably means something like character rare or something like that, because they all the full arts do feature some trainer. Although a bunch of cards in Dream League do feature trainers in general. All right, so let's take a look at the first one, but we're going to take a look at the cards as well. So we have Piplup and Empoleon, and we don't have the um, the Printplup in between, no information about that, but I think there's some interesting stuff about these two cards to begin with. So we're talking look at Piplup, 60 HP. This this Pokemon won't stand up long on its own, but it does have a very cool attack. And for its attack, we have three water energy for 80 damage. Uh, and the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon it can attack during your opponent's next turn. This feels like some more anti, this sounds like some more tag team hate and just a way to lock down your opponent, which I think is really cool. I feel like it's becoming, there's so many cards that can basically take advantage of the fact that tag teams are so powerful and they kind of just come underneath them and uh, take them out and this is one of those examples uh, but the downside of course is that it only has 60 HP but if you can get to Empoleon uh, via Rare Candy or Evolving you know it does stand a little uh, it can take somewhat of a hit at 160 HP maybe not although it does have one interesting attack in Recall where you can choose attack from this Pokemon's previous evolutions I'm not sure about Primplup but Piplup itself does have that cool that cool 80 damage attack and then the Aqua Fall, which is the other for DCE, uh, 130, discard all energy. I don't think that that's that good. The fact that it's 130, I feel like, comes up just short of any fire tag, tag teams that probably have 270 HP. So the recall, I feel like, is the interesting thing here. It makes Pitbull up pretty cool. But this video is about the character rare, and, you know, I'm not sure if I can get behind this this specific card but the thing I can't get behind is this cool secret rare uh, so it does uh, feature Dawn with Pip Piplup <laughs> and uh, I yeah so I feel like you're taking a new pass at the secret rares or that are non like ultra rare secrets and so the full art variety I think I can get behind especially when it features a trainer just really cool and uh, I have high hopes for this this uh, new new rarity moving on to the next one we have a Cute little Mimikyu. I do like the art. I do like the the kind of like the the way that the style of the art and stuff. 70 HP, same deal, but for basic Pokemon, can't expect too much. And for its attack, its first one is for colorless energy. Impersonate, discard a supporter from your hand, then use its effect as your attack. I feel like this is the Pokemon version of LT Surge's strategy. So overall, I don't think it's that good. I mean, what? I'm not sure what supporter is worth your attack. Um, I feel like no matter what you play, you're probably going to get knocked down in the crackback, but I do like Mischievous Hand. The only time I think it can get impersonate is, actually we'll hit that in a second, Mischievous Hands put two damage counters on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, at first it's like, ooh, this thing is bad, but 
Uh, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, definitely go check it out. We can't forget about Zatu and his crazy attack that can reduce your opponent's Pokemon to one health. And then you just use Mischievous Hands to knock them out. This is a great card to just play clean up if Zatu, if you don't have Shrine of Punishment combo down. Uh, or if they're not GX. So I do, do think this card has some potential and it's Psychic type. So it synergizes perfectly with Spell Tag. I think Mimikyu will pair greatly with Zatu. But uh, how about its character rare? Let's take a look. This one... I'm not sure how I feel about it. Maybe there's some backstory to Mimikyu or Ace Roll that I'm not familiar with, but what are you doing to this poor Pokemon? <laughs> and uh, Ace Roll, I feel like she looks a little crazy to begin with. I feel like she got a little crazy eyes going on. I'm not sure why. Um, so this one, I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but I really like the Pokemon itself. I really like the card. I think it has a lot of synergy with that too. Moving on to the last one, we have Clefairy. Uh, this one, I feel like... The, it brings into effect a cool card uh, however this card itself is not that good so let's take a look 50 HP and for three colorless transformation 60 damage return this Pokemon and all cards attached to it to your hand and then replace it with Lily's Clefairy doll uh, as your active Pokemon so let's look at that Clefairy doll 70 H or 30 HP it's one of those things where you can just toss out there when your opponent when your phone knocks out they don't get a a prize this card can't retreat but i'm sure you could just do a switch or something like that if um if you don't want it to be out there but i think this card's pretty cool like imagine facing off a tag team it's like all right well i'm just gonna put this guy out there if they don't have if they're in if during this rotation there's no thing like guzma or something like that they all right well i'm gonna have to just take this out as with something and it opens me vulnerable makes me vulnerable to my opponent's next turn so i do think clefairy lily's clefairy doll is a cool card Clefairy itself, I'm not too crazy about, to be honest. Uh, but the thing that I do like is the Lily Clefairy full art. Uh, yep, this was another cool one. So actually, this one, you can see on the bottom, it does say promo. So for at least for the Japanese release, this is coming out if you buy a booster box. And so obviously, we have no idea how they're going to do it in the English. But, uh, you know, I think I'm pretty sure they're going to want to bring these to English side. Maybe they'll do it like tins and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But... Um, so that's it for the three character rares that are have been announced for the upcoming Dream League set, uh, which is going to be really out soon. Before right uh, before we know it, we'll have uh, access to these cards and more information about them. And uh, so that's it for today's news. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Which one do you like? I think my favorite one. I really like the Mimikyu card, but I think I like for the the character arts i think i like the dawn and piplup the best i think piplup's really cute and i feel like they really did a really good job with that art yeah something about the acerola just uh creeps me out <laughs> but that's all we have for today thanks for watching guys i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace